Hey everybody, it's me again, and uh, welcome to another series of video. Now, this one is a little bit different. I'm teaching game development to my students, so I'm, uh, I decided to record some of these courses, some of these lectures, and I thought I'll share it with you too. All right, so let's get ahead, get started with this game development course. If you, uh, if you think about games, computer games, all games uh, literally have things that are in common. For example, they have a lot of graphics, they have audio, they have images, they have uh, animation, they have logic, and they have a little bit of math and uh, physics too. So, we're not gonna dive too much into them, but let's get, let's get into how do we create a game. Now, when you, have, you create a game, usually you need, well, you don't need, usually there are two approaches to it. One approach is that you use some tools in the market that like game engines, and there's plenty of them. All you have to do is go to Google and type in game engines, and then you'll see a lot. The other approach is that you actually do it yourself. Okay, and in this course, I decided to do it yourself. Uh, the reason is, you, the, the reason is that you most, before you start even using game engine, you need to know, you need to understand the basics of games. And no, it's actually the, the best way to do that is that if you try to do it, to know the, the, the different elements of game creation. Now, the, again, the other part, all games share common elements. So the, uh, when, when you learn it, when you learn the basic, this knowledge is actually transferable and you can, when you go to use an engine, you already have the basics of game creation. Finally, as you advance in, your, uh, in this approach, you actually can create your own engine and then you have more freedom. Uh, the last thing here, what we tools we're going to use for this course, we're going to use HTML5 and JavaScript. Why? They're free and they're easy to use. You don't need any tools. Okay. So that is what we're going to cover in this course. And I'll stop at this uh, notation, at this uh, PowerPoint, and we'll get started in the next one.